Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video we'll start with we'll start using um Vertex AI. Um as I said in the previous video, Vertex AI combines AI platform and auto ML into one platform. And so we'll start um using it and then seeing um what it's all about. So I have already um imported um, some libraries so OSS, JSON lines, um, AI platform and storage, and date time, and then JSON format. And I've also provided um, the location of my service account file. Uh, I've, I've passed it as an environment variable. I've also provided my region and then a project ID. Right? So you can find your project ID here. So this is my project ID. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. So um, what do we have to do now? So to so in this video we'll be using AI platform, which is part of Vertex AI, right? Um, AI platform allows you to train your models uh, and stuff like that. So um, we would be doing some text classification using AutoML. And so for text classification, obviously we need data, right? So the data we'll be using comes from Cargo. It's a BBC article um, category, right? So we have like 2000 articles and then we classify them into one of five categories. So whether it's a it's tech, it's business, it's sport, it's entertainment, it's politics, uh, business, politics, sports, and yeah. So we have to classify the text into um, one of these um, five um, categories, right? So, um, yeah. We um how we can do this so the first thing um we will do is we would so if, if you don't know how to get your credentials you have to watch my the first video and we'll see how to um start with this project so the first thing we have to do is we have to initiate our project right so um this is how you have to you initiate your project. So you say AI platform dot in it. And then you say project is project ID and then location is region. Right. Okay. So then if I run this, so my project has been um, initiated, right? So now I can just, I can use um, AI platform now. Um, if you are getting an error about AI platform not being enabled or storage not being enabled, you need to go to that, um, product and then if it's a vertex ai you need to go there and then enable the api if it's storage you also need to go there and also enable the api if you are getting errors about them not being enabled all right so now let's go ahead with um creating the data set and importing the data set so um so the data set is um actually a csv file before you can use um, auto ML or you can use Vertex AI, um, AI platform, auto ML, you need to create a data set. And the data set has to conform to some standard, right? So if you are using text, your data set has to be conformed to some standard. If it's images, it has to conform to the standards. And here we are using text. So it's a single, um, sorry it's a single label classification right we are just classifying in one of 
those five categories. So for single label classification, there are some data requirements. I'll leave a link to this uh, page in the description. So these are the data requirements you can read in your own time. And um, what is important is how this input files that you are given should look like, right? So the input files, so these are, um, this is the general format of the input file. So it should have MLUs, it's in bracket because this column is, is optional. And then you'd have DCS, so Google Cloud Storage file URI, or the inline text. So you can either provide the path to the file in a Google Cloud Storage, or you'd have the text embedded in the CSV file. So this is when you're using CSV files. And then the last one is the label, right? So I'm just going to show you how um, our data is um, formatted. So let me open that CSV. So um, so as you can see, the first column, so if I bring this yeah so as you can see the f we don't have i don't have a first column here because it's um it's optional right i don't i don't want to specify the test and the training because the the uh, auto ml can automatically split the data set for me so i don't need to specify that then the next one is gcs file uri or inline text yeah i'm using inline text so as you can see, my first column is inline text. So you have inline text. And then my next other column is the label. So my other column is a label. So this is the format of my um, data, right? So this is what I need to train my model. I have about 2000 um, samples. And as you, um, as you can see, you should have at least 20 and not more than 1 million training documents. Right? You must apply at least two and not more than 5,000 categories. Right? You must apply each label to at least 10 documents. Right? So it's, it meets all these um, categories of this specification. So let's go ahead and then, um, so to import the data set, I will create a GCP bucket. I will upload the data to that bucket and then I would um, create the data set which conforms to the text data preparation. So let's go ahead and then create the bucket. So I'm using, I'll use GSUtil, make bucket. I'll provide a region which is a location. We are in US. I want to use US Central 1. And then I'll provide a name of my bucket. So I'll say text classification. Right. So it has to be, this is how the bucket, so it has to be GS text classification. And we said the bucket names have to be unique. Right. So I'll go here and then just add this ID number to it. And then I will just click that. So if I go back to storage, 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 Google Cloud Storage. You can see that our bucket has been created. So, um, Let's go ahead and then upload the data. So we are uploading our CSV um, file into this bucket. So I'll say gsutil copy, right? And then there's BBC text CSV. And then I want to copy it to this bucket. So I'll just copy that and then paste that here. And then click that. And 
it says operation completed if i go here and then open that i have my data set in there right so we've done um all that the next thing we have to do now is to create the data set right so to create a data set um we have to give it um a name right so uh, for the name i would use the timestamp to ensure that the name is um, unique all the time right so use a timestamp to ensure unique names so i'll say timestamp So it's date time dot now. I want to format the timestamp into um year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds, right? So I'll say year. Month. Day. Minute and seconds. Hopefully, I got this right. Let me just see what that gives me. Good. And then um, the next thing we will do is we have to specify the source. So, where is our source? Where is our source data, right? So, you are I. So the source data is the location of um, the Google Cloud Storage bucket where our text data is. So what is this um, source URI? So um, we can go back to our and then this and then we just um, have to copy this this URI over here and then paste it in there and then the display name will be the name of our text data so we have a display name right so say let me use string formatting so I'll say text I'll say BBC text data and then I'll add a timestamp to it just like that and then the next thing I will do is we have to create to create data set so we said yes I platform dot text data set dot create we have display name is display name and GCS source What's URI? Let me just name it URI because we have just one. And then we have what's the import schema? So the import schema is single label classification, right? So we have AI platform dot schema dot data set dot I think Google has to do something about this long imports. I mean, it's just doesn't make any sense. Then sync. So this is our um. This is how we specify how to create our data set. 
and then we go and then we say we run that. So we have um, some um, stuff being printed out. It will take quite a while for um, this um, to finish. So I'm just going to go ahead and then bring your text classification model. So this is what we will do in our next video. We will train our text classification model with auto ML. So we don't need to, so with auto ML, we don't need to um, write, really write any code, right? For example, we don't need to write a transformer model. Uh, Google itself, GCP itself will find what the best model for this problem is for us, right? So, um, so this is what we'll do in our next video. So let's go, let me go ahead and then go back to AI, Vertex AI. And then look at data sets. So as you can see, the data set is, status is important. So our data set is being um, created. So it's going to take a while. So just leave it and go drink a cup of tea. I will come back when um, the data set has finished um, creating. Okay, so our data set has finished um, creating. So if we go to um, data sets, yeah, so still, uh, let's refresh that says ready now and then we can see the distribution of um, the data so um, business is 503 entertainment politics sports tech right and um, yeah So that's it for um, um, importing the data set. If we go to our cloud storage also. You can see that a new bucket has been created. And in that bucket, we can find folders uh, and then data sets so um that's all for this video and um i hope to see you in the next one keep watching